Hi, it's Jason from Dennis Carpenters. Dave and I gave our 70 Ford shop truck a facelift with our 6869 grill and a brand new bumper. Today we're going to take you through the steps to perform this swap on any 70 to 72 Ford pickup. First we will change out the front bumper. We will begin by removing the aftermarket fog lamps. Then we will remove each bumper guard by removing the nut from the back side of the bumper. Remove the nuts from the two remaining bolts and the bumper can now be removed. Now we'll lift the new bumper into place and reinstall the top two bolts. And then the lower two bolts. We decided not to use the bumper guards, but this would be the time to put them on if you decided to reinstall them on your truck. Just installing a new bumper, removing the bumper guards and fog lamps gave our truck a nice clean look, but we're not done yet. Now on to the grill. First we'll remove the headlight doors by removing the four screws in each corner. Then you will need to back off the headlight retaining screws just enough to allow you to turn the retainer counterclockwise and remove. Then carefully remove the headlight bulb out of the headlight wiring socket and set it aside. Unhook the headlight bucket retaining spring. Before removing, you may have to rock the bucket a little to get it to release from the upper and outer adjustment screws. Now we can start the process of removing all the bolts that hold the grill to the truck. We will start with the bolts that hold the outer edge of the grill to the fender. We will then remove the bolts from the upper latch panel, leaving it attached to the grill. The grill latch panel will be reinstalled on our new 6869 grill prior to installation. Next, we will remove the two park light assemblies by removing the two nuts under the grill balance panel. These two mounting holes will not be required for the 6869 grill. You can leave them open or plug them with the provided rubber plugs. We will be using the upper hole that was not previously used to mount our new grill, and we also have a small modification to perform. The lower mounting hole on the new grill does not align with the one on our body. So we will need to drill a new hole below the original. First, measure from the center of the hole down two inches and make a mark. Then measure the distance from the outer edge to the center of the hole and transfer that measurement at the two inch mark. Center punch where these two marks cross and this is where you need to drill a half inch hole. Repeat this process on the other side. We are now ready to start preparing our new grill assembly. We start by installing the headlight adjuster screws. You can use a deep wall socket over the adjuster to carefully tap them into the grill. Then install the four headlight retainer screw clips three facing front, and one on the lower outside. Then repeat this process for the opposite side. Next, we will install the park light housings. First, we feed the wiring harness through the opening and align the two studs with the mounting holes on the grill. Then secure them with the nuts provided. Then we'll finish with the gasket and lens. Now position the headlight bucket onto the adjuster screws. From the back side, secure the bucket to the grill with the retainer spring. Next, we will install the optional Ranger emblem and bezel on our grill. First, place the emblem on the grill and mark the stud locations with a marker. Then center punch where the holes are to be drilled. Mm -hmm. 
After the holes are drilled, place the emblem into position on the grill and attach it with the provided rubber washer and the nuts. Now it's time to reinstall all of our attachment parts. We will start with our J-clips. Slide each one over the grill and onto the two extended mounting brackets until they line up with the mounting holes. We will then reinstall the upper latch panel and then finally the hood latch bracket. Now we are ready to install our grill assembly. Carefully position the grill onto the truck and don't forget to plug in your park light wiring before you totally have the grill in place. Now reinstall the hood latch bracket bolts, the upper hood latch panel bolts, the lower center mounting bolt behind the grill, and the bolts inside the fender well. Plug in your headlight bulb. Position your retainer ring over the bulb and tighten. Now put the headlight door into place and secure it with the four mounting screws. Repeat for the opposite side. And that will complete our grill swap. By using the 6869 grill and our 70, we gave the truck a unique look. If you're interested in doing this conversion, we now offer a kit with all the necessary parts. You can find this and many other quality restoration parts for your Ford at dennis-carpenter.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.